Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at one of my fin decks. I actually have a lot of different fin decks with highlights in them that I've recorded in the past, but I wasn't completely ex happy with the gameplay. So I decided to focus on these two particular matches that I played today. So in the starters, I Elven Mercenary into Reconnaissance into Elven Scout into a Smuggler. Really strong play. Smuggler's strong against Dwarfs because Dwarfs sw um, swarm the board. The create mechanic is really strong. It's too strong right now. I almost always luck out with it. I get something I can use. Now, I am not the best player in the world, so I do make mistakes. Ugh. It's actually annoying that that thing's at 5 strength because it messes up my Tremors. Tremors is a card that's gaining a lot of popularity in Scoia'tael. Especially because Ithwing can play it twice and it summons this Golem now if you kill something. It's easy to get something killed with it. I'm getting lots and lots of golems free from it. That's unfortunate that it was Isengrim. Let's see if I luck out with my... Fin uh, <laughs> with Finny. I didn't. My opponent's probably going to pass here now that I'm two cards behind. I'm going to just pass. My opponent's obviously not going to uh, keep playing this round. Especially with that weather tick dinging him every time. He just played three Yavins against me and is two cards ahead without punishment. This is the spy meta, my friends, the spy meta. I draw into Yavin. I am not going to play him because not only does he get I get extra value out of my tremors by keeping him in my hand, but almost all my cards are worth at least 13 points, if not more. So I push out the Azure's Thunder. You might question that. I'm going to put down Milena early. None of these cards are a threat to me. Like, even though Milena is almost always better played late into a round, I'm playing it early because I don't want to give my opponent too much information. Now, it's also important to note that my opponent could be cheating by, well, not cheating, but looking at the hit game history to see that what card I played because Right now, the game is bugged. It's telling my opponent what I am playing. This is really annoying. I'm going to steal one of his dwarfs. It's best that way. And I'm going to start getting value out of my cards. I'm going to Reconnaissance. I'm going to go with the Elven Scout. The Elven Scout gives me better choices. Here, I have a choice between the Smuggler and the uh, Pyromaniac, or whatever he's called. Pyro Technician. They're very equal cards in this situation, but I go with the Pyro Technician because this helps proc my Tremors later into the game. Now, you might be wondering why I played the Reconnaissance before Yavin. The reason why is that I want to play Yavin after I've thinned my deck of the most cards I can. The reason why he's not reviving Barkley Elves here is he probably has another way of doing it. I decide to take the Azure's Thunder. No, I take the, uh, no, I took the Dwarf because it's more value. Excuse me. <laughs> it's 12 value versus uh, 9 value. And I don't, there isn't a card I'm going to want to remove from my opponent's board. I'm almost 30 points behind my opponent at this point. I'm deciding to play my buffing cards because I want, but I do notice that my opponent has a four strength card on the board. I'm going to take advantage of that when I get a chance. Now I notice that my opponent just put one of my cards down to one strength. I'm not going to let him get extra value from his tremors, so I'm going to buff up my Milena to put it out of range of tremors. So 
Look at all these create mechanics going on in this game. Now that I see a one strength unit on the board, I can tremor safely. I'm going to be doing three tremors. My opponent has a huge board of 15 cards right now. I'm about 40 points behind my opponent. Uh, my tremors is going to get value every time, hitting me three golems by the end of this. He didn't luck into having an if lean at the very end. Ugh, that was a huge if lean. It was like 40 point if lean, something like that. Somebody in the comic section can tell me how much points that was. In our next game, we're up against Consume. Consume is tricky. You can't. I don't run locks or wait, solutions to the Neckers. So I have to make a lot of difficult decisions. I would play other control cards. Uh, I make the mistake of killing an egg here. I should be attacking his... I should be getting the extra three points from not killing his bird. Because he's going for... He's not going, he's not going to consume the egg so much as he's going to consume the beast to pull out the harpies. I lucked into a really strong hand, so I don't have to be too careful. Tremors is always kind of good, but I don't really want to use tremors on four units, even if it's getting me uh, a golem, so to speak. My opponent makes a weird decision to get put out a to consume his big cards. That really play doesn't play well into um, Shiru. Had I chosen to play Shiru. I'm ahead of my opponent by one point, so I felt safe to play Milena, but playing Milena also has its own risks. There are four strain, strength units on the board, which are always difficult to deal with. Decide to play the Azure Thunder. If my opponent passes, I still win this round. Because my Milena will flip, and then my Teruvia will flip. Okay, I steal one of his units. I'm going to just pass. Now, you might be wondering, why would you pass in this situation? Well, I'm, I'm 20 points ahead of my opponent. And there's a lot of times where your opponent will just miscalculate, thinking that they have a really strong... Um, because a lot of people just don't want to do any math. Let's just say it that way. I'm ahead of my opponent by one point. It's not obvious that I'm ahead of my opponent by one point, but I am. Well, it's annoying that I have a Tremors in my hand. I'll be able to mulligan out one of them for Ithleen in the final round. I mean, it's not this strong against Consume, but it is fairly strong against most everything else. The There are just two things that it's weak against. It's weak against self-wounding Cursed Skellige, and it's weak against Consume. That's the only thing I can really say. Morin's not all that strong in the matchup because there's lots of units that just are less than five strength. But my opponent's not playing those. Here I could Elven Scout into a Sword Master if I'm lucky. I have lots of decisions I need to make here. Do I play a Tremors now? And I do. I get my Golem. I deny him some eggs to eat. I luck into a sword master. This denies him some more Arrakis's being spawned. Here, I'm just going to have to luck out and create. Well, I didn't create into the correct thing the first time, so I'm going to create again. This gets me a lock option. I lock my opponent's Necker. is isn't create such a balance mechanic. Ugh. It's making this a clown fiesta. He consumes his Necker even though it's not going to... Spawn another one because he probably has a slizzard. However, if he did not have the slizzard in hand, he would just lose. 
Now I have to make a decision. Do I use my Yorvith meditation now, or do I wait for a juicier target later? I decide to wait for a juicier target later. I'm going to just play my Nova. It's safe against this kind of opponent because I've seen most of his gold cards, and those aren't... <laughs> he hasn't played anything to indicate that I should be worried. Decide to play an Azure's Thunder. I want to save the Tremors for my deck. He plays the Phoenix, which allows him to revive his Cockatrice, which is a very interesting combo. I'm kind of confused... Oh, there it is. The points are now correct. I, it looked like it's really annoying when you can't see the correct amount of points. Your Earth Meditation does a bajillion points, and I win. <laughs> Ain't that fair. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.